I've got to mention this. Things got a little bit out of hand where Leslie Kong, this Chinese guy, he sure. went into production. And um, he would like book the studios like all day or week mm -hmm. and they couldn't, nobody could get in. Ah. Or whoever wanted to do anything, has, it has to be done by someone else and it caused a problem. Mm -hmm. You know? Then um, he, would, he would definitely. He would definitely take the studio all day and says he can't get the time, he can't get the engineer, and all that. So it's you know. Was that for, <laughs> was that because he was busy working or because he wanted the control? He wanted me. Ah. And the other guys wanted me to. Yeah. But he blocked the studio mm -hmm. so that nobody else come in there for a day or two or three days, sometime up to a week when he's doing albums. Aside from say Whirl or RJR, was Leslie Kong and Beverly's your key person that you worked with, producer wise? No, I work okay. with them all. Okay. Bonnie Lee would do the same thing later on. Mm -hmm. He would say, okay, yeah. if, if Leslie can do that, he would book the studio. And let me tell you, there would be like 50 artists waiting outside. Mm -hmm. One at a time would come in. Bonnie, Bonnie Lee, um, there was one day when, where he, I think Eric Danson was, was there, um, one of his early days. And um, there were so many guys outside that... But Lee would say, okay, one take, that's it. If it's good, it's good. If it's not good, that's it. Mm -hmm. Everybody come in here, one take, one take, <laughs> one take. The guy go by the piano, he was glad he was a pianist, and he would bum, bum, and they get the changes or whatever. Mm -hmm. And say, okay, we're ready. <laughs> it's <Boom>. rolling. <laughs> by this time, we had, um, had a four or eight track. Mm -hmm. I think we had an eight track at the time. So if, if it wasn't right, would go over and with current tips. Adjust it. Yeah. Who are the artists that were rolling through the door during that period? When you have like 10... Toot, toots and the Metals. I did 54, 46. Uh, mm -hmm. They were all coming in. Mm -hmm. Bob Marley, they were all coming in. Eric Clapton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, we had... Um, Robert Flack. Mm -hmm. Killing me softly, and we laid, I laid the tracks for those. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. What brought her to Jamaica? The um, I don't know. She wanted that reggae feel, I think. Mm -hmm. That Killing Me Softly is technically a reggae, mm -hmm. slow reggae. Mm -hmm. The way they laid down, just the, the drum and bass. They didn't have anything else, just mainly the rhythm. Who played on that tune with her, musician wise? Um, Name of this um, the bass guy, Gee, name slipped me right now. But I think um, Gladi was on, on it, mm -hmm. and I don't remember who was on drums. Okay. I really don't. Okay. When you came out with Papa Top, did Derek Morgan know that was coming out at no. the time? What did he say to you? What your first conversation with him? What did he say? No, no, he came. He came to the studio, and he heard it. When he heard it. He said, that song like the song I did um, years ago called Fat Man. Yeah. I said, what do you mean? He said, yeah. And he started singing. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, you fat man. It's the mm -hmm. same thing. Leave my girl alone. Mm -hmm. It's the same changes. Mm -hmm. And he started singing on it. That's it. So okay. it actually existed before you threw Fat Man over it then? Mm -hmm. Oh. That's how most songs come about. It was South Parkway, man. But then it become Papa Top. Yeah. I, I did, I uh, also did, did Dr. Nogo, mm -hmm. the one that says, uh, boss, boss, gentlemen, once more from the top. Mm, it, it, was, it was designed for, for a group, I think, in meditations, I don't remember, oh, okay. offhand. And they were in the studio, we were trying to voice it, and um, they weren't singing the way she wanted them to sing. Mm -hmm. So I went into the talk back from the control room, and start to giving them a feel by saying, okay, gentlemen, once more from the top, ta -dam -tam, you know, and I and started up and I start talking. And then Mrs. Pottinger liked it. She says, why don't you continue? I said, no, let the guy sing. She said, no, 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 you do it. If, we, if anything, we can do a, a version of it, I, you know. And I went in and I do the slate, called a slate. S slate from the control from I'm in the I'm in the control room mm -hmm. and um, this is what is called a slate for identifying programming or it's like a talk back. Okay. Right. And um, I did I hit the slate button and um, 
At the time, the select button didn't have a tone. Now it's just a clear microphone going. You can actually put it on tape mm -hmm. from the country. You know, so you don't need another mic. So <clears throat> I started that fooling around with it. And she was even in the background laughing if you hear the song. Mm. She was laughing and we put it out and it was a smash. Interesting. They didn't put the other guy's song out. You know? Really? Yeah. Well, that's how things work sometimes yeah, again. Right. I did one with um, King Stitt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Herb's Man Shuffle? Yeah. Okay. And um, I think it's um, Fire Corner. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? I think, I think King Stitt and I did about two or three. Okay. When you were manipulating music, with Papa Top, mm -hmm. what were your peers doing at other studios, other engineers down in Jamaica? What were they doing at the time? Um, there were there weren't many many other studios at the at the time mm -hmm. when I was you know when I started. I think there were only two: West Indies and Federal. Mm -hmm. Right, that's it. Um, so who were your peers then? Who were these other folks? And then while we started, everybody started going into the studio thing. Harry J, and Harry J, and then later on I set up um, Joe Gibbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Who were the people from, say, Federal and Dynamic? And you're dy you're representing Dynamic yeah, at right, the time. Yeah, right. Who was Federal and World? Who were the people there? I think it was Rich, it, it was Rich, was it Richard Corey? I think it was Richard Corey. Okay. Do it. Did Sylvan Morris be in that mix? No, not okay. yet. He okay. didn't come in yet. Okay. That, I'm talking about the early stages. He didn't come in. I think when he, when he came, I think he started at RJ. Okay. I think. I'm not sure. But um, he's fairly new. Sid Buckner. That, okay. Um, he's now in England. Um, he, he was at West Indies with me. Okay. He was, oh, I, 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 <clears throat> I should have mentioned Coxon Studio was one of the other ones. Okay. Um, sure. Duke Reed. Mm -hmm. He had he one upstairs, here. right. So I think there was about four in that early time. Before everything, it was just that Westings Records. Yeah. With, with, with the version, because I want to touch, touch on three things. I want to touch, touch on talking over music, mm -hmm. versioning music, and the manipulation of music like dub. Mm -hmm. Like just kind of a, not even dub because there was no such term at the time, but just manipulation or create creativity with the music. I asked you before what what other uh, maybe Sid Buckner or other engineers were doing mm -hmm. at other studios, the few that existed. Mm -hmm. Had anybody done any like different versions of songs like what no, you no. did? When, when I started, when I when I did the Papa Top, it got so popular that I don't know what got into me to do this. Because at first, when I did it, I didn't have anything else to put on the flip side. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I just put the, the rhythm on the flip side. Mm -hmm. You know, like some people do a song, and they put another song on the other side. That's sure. the way it goes, yeah, A side yeah, or B side. Mm -hmm. Right. I didn't have anything else. And we had to put it out. So we said, just put the rhythm. That's all. Mm -hmm. That was that was it. I said, and it was puka -puk. And then when that came out, DJs were playing that, and they would mix it with the, the talking one. Mm -hmm. And then someone said, um, why don't we do something? This, but, um, um, Derek Morgan came in and he said, do fat man. Hey, you fat man. Right, good. We need something for the other side. So some guy came by. Um, there was a security guard there at the time, and he used to make funny sounds with his, with his tongue. Yeah. He, he's the loud. I don't know the hell he did it. <laughs> and he, he would he, he would do it. So I said, okay, that's the flip side of the Derek Morgan. Uh -huh. and, and we kept doing it like that. And there's another one, and there's another one, and there's one with just the the, 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 the organ piece, and there's uh -huh. another one with just the rhythm without the organ. And mm -hmm. it, 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 it kept going. I think we had 13 versions. And those were all getting released? Yeah. All we, released. we released. And, and they're the, choosing who releases them? No, they, they, were, they were still going through Dynamic Sound. Oh, okay, gotcha. But appearing on different labels, I guess, because you have a variety of labels. Yeah, other people started doing close music. It now okay. become reggae. Mm -hmm. That 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 is now everybody doing it. Mm -hmm. Lee Perry would, would do one called Return of Django and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And then later on, people Funny Boy and stuff like that. You, you know, we would like going to going going to going to different phases with that. Pum 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 pum. That kind mm -hmm. of reggae type beat. So it's fair to say that that was one of the first version songs. Is that, can you? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't, I don't think there was any other one before. Okay. 
How about manipulate? I guess when you're putting out so many different versions and you're manipulating it so much in so many different ways, um, I don't think that was being done either, was it? And put onto the record? No. No, that's what I'm saying. People used to say, what can I put on the flip side? They can't find anything. Yeah. You know? Um, because when I did, when I did that um, Dr. Nogo, mm -hmm. I think Miss Paddinger, Mrs. Sonia Paddinger put the guy singing on the back, and this is the one that they were pushing. Mm -hmm. Or they, no, I think they put a, 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 no, no, I'm wrong. I think they put a different song on it. That's how it used to go. Derek Harriet mm -hmm. would put out one, and they would put another song on the other side, and that's like it. So when I started doing that, and after that, everybody started doing just rhythm. Sound system would just play the rhythm, the sound, boom, boom, with the drum and mm -hmm. bass. After a while, it was not but drum and bass. Everybody was doing mm -hmm. from the from the originals, and it it became they call it dub. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm responsible for that, but it well, might I think, be. yeah. At age, two, you were about 28 years old at the time, right? Mm, I was born in 41. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's 27, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was 60. I went to Dynamics on about 63. I think because that's where I went, yeah. none of them guys were doing anything. I don't think, I mean, definitely Tubby wasn't around until later no, in the game. No, 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 Tubby's like, yeah, all the way down. Was he doing anything? When, at when the I time? left and went back, then I, he came back because it, we, um, he got some of the equipment from West Indies. Mm -hmm. When West Indies was thrown out, mm -hmm. he grabbed some. Yeah, yeah. Coxon grabbed some. Uh -huh. yeah. Coxon took every piece he could find. Mm -hmm. Whether it's working or not, give it to me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, he would put together 500 different pieces from everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, it would work. 